All right, guys, we are back. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Men of Milan. All right, so we're going to just keep right with it, man. This story is progressing along pretty quickly. Uh, I'll try not to make these next couple of episodes uh, as long. Um, you know, I don't, want, I don't want to necessarily spam you guys with this, but... Um, I'll try to keep them within about a 30 minute time frame. Uh, if this is your first time joining my channel, by all means, do me a huge favor, subscribe. I promise you will not regret it. Uh, do me a favor, also hit that like button to let me know how much you appreciate my videos. And by all means, subscribe, I mean, uh, hit the uh, bell notification as well so you know when I upload my videos. Although, I upload them generally about 2 p.m. every day, but I do throw curveballs in there every now and again, especially if it's something brand new. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's get right back into it. Let's go. Oh, man, come on. You guys be throwing these at me at, at times I am least expecting it. Gotta be on my guard, man. Wait! Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. I'm holding on. What am I doing? Good job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Why did you Tom say that out loud? Under the bunk beds. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out! Move! Well, you seem to have already suffered a casualty. That was a bold move. Not smart, but bold. Great. He did die. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh. No, we'll, we'll go with it. <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> A 
probably shouldn't have said that. So I'm really frustrated about that. I, I did not want to lose that guy. I was hoping he was still alive. Dang it. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! make sure that they won't get to leave. You take the distributor cap off, then yeah, they can't they can't start the engine. I know a little something about working on cars. <laughs> Go. I'm controlling Fliss, just for you guys to know. Wait, what's over here? Anything? Okay, can't go that way. Over there. Wait. Yes. Get back. I wanted to get that document. Dang it. This whole place is a floating death trap. dropping that bracelet was significant. Dude! Oh. I need him to stop pushing on her though. I don't like that. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Anything. It's crosses. I can't get this though. Come on. Miller. What are these guys gonna do with us now? I don't know. Alright, what was the point of bringing us on this ship? I guess they're here. Oh, in Are they trying to scavenge the ship? I'm reading it. Uh, internal memorandum, 14th Division Army, uh, 517. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. You're covering Patterns, uh, uh, Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he has guard duties in hole 3A. First is 2400. 
Uh, that is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Check the chart for rotation. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down here. Maybe Patterson should buck up. Just go get just get on it. Oh, we took it. Good. Still wish I had gotten that, that initial document though. Oh son, you're in box, you see. Okay, all of you. Into the room. fucking place. Well, whatever this ship is, we gotta start figuring out how to get the fuck off of it. So, what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? <laughs> Good question. Well, technically, there are emergency procedures, but this is such an extreme case that... Oh, you were kidding. Now, I knew that. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. Can't. They got the plan? distributor cap. I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we're still controlling Fliss, it looks like. Uh, so let's explore this what area here. This ship was? Let's pick this up and give it a read, shall we? All right. Uh, Miss J. Uh, Rivera, apartment 2, 275 Lockwood Drive, Crystal Springs, Cincinnati, Kentucky. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I'm really scared. Uh, I've been on some shore leave with the guys. Had a few beers, but don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. This guy, Miller? I get a lot of time I seem to, to think... Spooked. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo hose. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Love you so much, Miller X. Okay. Now there is also a painting on the wall, which we definitely want to check because there are premonitions that come along with these. I mean, that's not as, why is it scratched out? of a dog ship ship mascot ss something okay Let's see what else we have in here that i think that may spark conversation and before doing that i kind of want to explore other items in this room first uh, there was a chair over here is that going to spark conversation as well no what is this? 
Why can't I focus on it? Oh, okay. Right, what do we have here? I wonder why they all left it behind. Uh, American Overseas Gangland uh, Ling of 1947 Archaeologists Missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the something. Okay. All right, let's, since we're over here, let's talk to him first. Hey. I found this letter that was never sent. Okay. Well, it said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? This doesn't feel right. Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I found this note, it was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy, Patterson, kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew Man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. So? What do we do? Let's, uh, let's go here. This is a fucking old ship, but maybe it still has a radio that works. Any idea where we'd find it? Uh, the bridge. bridge. Yep. Above deck. All right. The second we get an open, we gotta take it. And hope the radio still works. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just... Be careful. Okay. Is there anything over here? What is this? Actually, you know what? Before I do that, because that is, that clearly that's a way out. Uh, before I do that, I want to have an opportunity uh, to talk to the others that are here. Oh, we already looked at that. Okay, so we can't talk to her. All right, let's go over here. What are these? This is very strange. Just glasses just sitting here? I really don't want to know what these guys are going to do with us. All right, let's go ahead and try to open that, uh, move that, uh, that chest now and see if we can get out of here. Hey, look, look at this. I didn't want to knock on the door because I didn't want to uh, draw attention. Keep at it. Yeah, I really don't want to knock on that door because, like I said, I don't want to draw unnecessary attention. I'd love to see these guys. <sighs> the joke is not going to fall apart at any second. I've been on a lot of ships, and this <laughs> is barely qualified. I mean, I have a choice. I don't know how much time he needs. 
Maybe we could just look out the window and see what's going on, if anything. You see anything? Je vais aller explorer la salle des machines. Danny, tu fouilles les soutes. Les soutes T'es sérieux T'as vu l'endroit Ça tombe en ruine, Nolson. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que... Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Va te faire photo. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charme. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cet... cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. Okay. Well, let's check back with the... Uh... Still nothing? What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. If we could bust it open, freedom. Yeah, let's see. Could it be blocked? I just don't know what shape the ship is in. This old deck could be blocked. When would it just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. <laughs> Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Sure, I agree. Fliss, wanna do the honors? Right. No, actually, Barrack, let's go ahead. Go out too, ah, too late. Hey! Hey, you dumb, sweaty mongrel! <laughs> you got cheese for brains, huh? <laughs> yeah, hey, all that stuff she said, but double is gross. Your mother's and your mother's mother's, too. Everyone has a job like barrel of fishes. <laughs> That's right. Your mother's all suck eggs. Hey, hey. Huh? Listen, you Sophia! Let us out! Come on, come on. Good job. Ah! the fuck down already! Then let us the fuck out of you already! Come on, come on, it's time to go. Job. Shut up. That's right. There's gotta be some stairs around here. So who are we controlling now? Okay. Can we go in here? Yes. Let's pick it up. Flip it over. All right. Fact. All ship personnel, extra guard duty regulations due to the special security precautions on this mission. Additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Uh, guard personnel, well, sorry. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternness of punishments up to and including a court martial. That's pretty significant. By order of uh, Captain Forbes, guys, nobody is allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. Oh, boy. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's move forward. Oh 
boy. I don't know if I should be in here or not. Let's go this way. What is this? Jeez. Maybe this is what scared everyone off. The smell really bad. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. What's this? Oh, man! Come on! <laughs> Jeez! Were they, were they incinerating clothes? Or is this like an industrial size washing machine? I'm not, I'm not sure. I, think, I don't think I can cut through there. No, I can't. All right, let's walk around. And back out. All right. Again, if this is your first time. It's so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. Uh, as I was saying before, if this is your first time joining my channel, I am what I'd consider the complete game, uh, game through specialist. So I'm going to check everything that I can in a game that's within my power to do. Um, I am not one of those YouTubers that. I'm not one of those YouTubers that just rush through games, um, so yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to maximize the experience. Okay, it says cargo hold two. It says out of bounds. One. I thought it was. I thought it was hold three. Okay. All right. Let's step out. I guess we should ask her if she's okay. Like, you she did lose her brother. Then? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then it's not. Sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. Is this where we're supposed to? Did you hear that? Yep. Yeah, I did. Something moving around down there. Big boat, big engine. Is there anything else we can explore in this room? You know, before I go that way, let me. Ah, I don't. I don't know if uh, oh, a little glitchy here. A little glitchy. Now we're this way, but I don't know where the others have gone. Okay, everyone's over here. Uh, so I actually want to go back really quick. I don't know if I can walk fast. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, I want to go back over here. So I wanted to go in here. Okay, good. I'm glad I came back. <gasps> Dude, what the heck? What do we have here? All right, secret found. Uh, dear Ellis, I'm finally coming home. This this is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. Can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see their daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. Uh, I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. Uh, they censor them, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others oh, excuse me, steal them to, uh, to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. Uh, really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board, and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There, there ain't no way... We got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now. The war is over. I bet they'll edit this but a uh, bit out. But it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be, busy, be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon, Robert. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, come on, man. Don't don't do nothing crazy. There's nothing. Okay. Is there anything else in this bathroom? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go ahead. Sit back this way. Meet up with our uh, my brother, my I guess soon to be fiance, and ship captain. There's something about this area is just a it's a bit glitchy. Is there anything over here? Yes. Let's see what we have here. I can't, I can't open it. It's just a book, but I can't, I can't do anything with it. There we go. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to read through this really quick. Uh, June 19th, I identified uh, problem areas with structural uh, brittleness and cracks in some sections of the cargo hold. One, uh, I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary wheeling repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. Uh, June 20th, I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added uh, lead to the, so the uh, solders, uh, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. June 21st, I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have remind reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive, uh, attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. Uh, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through, uh, through hoisting cables aloft deck which has left damage. The reefs has been boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment uh, it's likely that the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. Okay. Just a little history into what happened that night that that lightning struck. Uh, we know that a lot more happened than that, uh, but at least it's a little bit of a backstory. Nothing here? No? I don't know why this guy reminds me of Michael B. Jordan a little bit. Is it just me? What do you guys think? <laughs> he reminds me of him just, just, a, just a tad. Let's see. Can we get closer. Yeah. What is, what is this? It's a little skull. What the heck? That's awfully small. <laughs> oh! Man, I'm already sick of this game. Certainly right, dude. Keep it together. Jeez. All right, guys, we're going to explore just a little bit more, and I think we'll take a break after that. Let's see. We have another another manif manifesto, it looks like. What do we have here? Let's read this one. Okay. Thursday the 12th, the skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize how quiet the ship is. There was a fright between those dumb guys, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. But Ferris snipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been as quiet as church ever since. Uh, I've got talking with the fellow who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. But he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holes just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you'd get if you were on any uh, were, were any old grunt. It got me thinking. Who could be in those boxes? Friday the 13th, booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups. But I said he was t uh, talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch. Uh, from some supplies they lifted meeting up later down on 6th to check it out Saturday the 14th just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes going to find him and see what he saw maybe he can even help me get in to take a look 
It's all said. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're going to take a look tonight. Oh, see, maybe you guys opened and uncovered something that you weren't supposed to. Uh, yeah, that's probably was dumb uh, on your parts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a break here, guys. When we come back, uh, I'll continue exploring exploring what looks like um, uh, the barracks of the ship. Um, but in any case, guys, do me a favor. If this is your first time on my channel, uh, do me a huge favor. Subscribe. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, pound the like button to let me know that you enjoy not just this video, but my commentary as well. And my play style. Uh, as I said before, I consider myself the complete walkthrough specialist. I go through these games and play them to their totality, to the best of my ability. Not necessarily a 100 percenter when it comes to like trophies, um, but I do uh, invest the time to explore as much of every game that I play. Um, so anyway, guys, I will see you again soon. Uh, man, this game is intense. Jump scares are working. <laughs> that is not for effect. That's real. All right, guys, I'll see you again soon. Later.